Hello and welcome to this 30 minute stretch class. This is designed for you to feel more comfortable in your body, more at ease. Usually when we sit for long periods of time, the body can become quite tense and tight. So this sequence you can do for the full 30 minutes, or you can take parts of this practice and just incorporate it into your day. So if you find that your shoulders get tense and tight, begin to include those stretches. If you find that it's your low back or your hips that are getting tight, then incorporate those. I offer yoga mindfulness and meditation practices, as well as simple Ayurvedic practices as well, to allow you to feel more at ease in your body and to find greater peace of mind. We all know that we live in a very busy world where we are pulled in a multitude of directions energetically, and we often experience a considerable amount of overwhelm. So if that is for you, then you are in the right place and just scroll through, go through the different videos, see what resonates for you and what is going to support you in your daily life. And then watch them, but integrate them. Do the practices. And we all know that it's through repetition that those practices begin to become ingrained and they become a new habit that we form, one that is beneficial for our well being. So, with that, let's begin our stretch class today. So we'll begin, of course, in our chair, and you're going to have your knees and your ankles in one line. And then just lift up through the crown of your head, you can bring your shoulders up towards your ears, take a deep inhale through your nose, and then just let your shoulders drop. Hey, okay. now from here, we're gonna take our hands to our knees and round our back. Now, as you're rounding your back, try to draw your shoulder blades away from each other. And then pull now your heart forward and through your arms. And you can either keep your head in a neutral position with your chin parallel to the floor, or if you'd like a stretch for your neck, bring your chin upwards. And then you're gonna do this again, rounding the back, drawing the shoulder blades away from each other. Breathe into your upper back. And then start to again, draw your heart forward and through. And bring your shoulder blades towards each other. And we'll do two more. Now this helps to improve the blood flow to the nerve endings along your spine. And if you have any low back discomfort or pain, this is a wonderful movement and stretch to do. And of course you can do this at any time. And then now come back, we're gonna draw the right knee in towards the chest. So just interlace your fingers below your right knee Pull your knee towards you and breathing here for six breaths. Two more. Now from here, start to guide your right ankle above your left knee. Now, when you release your hands, you may find that the knee comes up quite high. But you may also find that if you take your right hand to your right knee and gently begin to guide it towards the floor, that the knee will come down a little further. Then from your hip crease, you're going to start to gently fold forward. Now, this is going to increase the stretch to the outer hip and the glutes. Now you can remain here, or you can bring your forearms, allow the knee to move a little closer towards the floor, and breathe here for six breaths. And usually the hips get quite tight from sitting for long periods of time. So this is a great stretch to do. Again, at any time that you have a moment or with the full sequence. Okay. 
Now, when you come to your sixth breath, start to guide the knee back towards you. And now take your right leg and draw your leg out in front of you. We're gonna again fold at the hip crease here. Now, if you find that your hamstrings are tight, bring a little bend to the knee. Otherwise, you can have your legs straight. And you're starting to start to guide your torso a little closer towards your thigh. Now, you may find that that's enough and you just bring your hands down, or you may find that you can comfortably bring your hand to your foot. Now, all of these stretches you can do in bare feet or socks or with your shoes, as you prefer. And then slowly bring yourself back up. And then start to make little circles here, going in one direction, and then going in the other direction. And then again, you can just go in one direction and the other. This is to increase mobility. And then just bring your foot down, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So interlacing your fingers now below your left knee, drawing your knee in towards your chest, breathing here for six breaths. And then once you come to your sixth breath, let the knee fall slightly out to the left so that you can guide your left ankle above your right knee. Then again, you're going to just let the knee start to fall towards the floor. And as you fold the hip crease, you're going to find that that's going to help to assist the knee coming down. Now your foot can be flexed or not. And you're going to again think about having your forearms on your leg, keeping the length in the spine, and breathing here. And then once more, once you come to your sixth breath, you're going to slowly bring yourself back up. And then just release the leg, guide your leg in front of you, and folding again at the hip crease, start to move towards your left thigh. Now, as your torso is moving towards the thigh, again, your knee can be bent, your leg straight, and you can see about taking your hands to your foot and breathing here. And when you come to your sixth exhale, use your next inhale again to guide yourself back up. And then just lifting the leg away from the floor and circling your ankle, going again in one direction and then the other. And then again, switching it up and then again, switching it. And then bring again your foot down. Now from here, we're gonna take the right arm underneath the left. Try to slide your left elbow past the inner crease of your right elbow. That's going to allow the back of the hands to start to move towards each other. And then if you're comfortable to bring your palms to touch, you can be here. Now, if this creates a lot of discomfort in the upper back and shoulders for you, instead, bring your hands onto your shoulders this way and focus on allowing the elbows to start to come up to the height of the shoulders. Now, if you are in this position, start to gently guide your wrists away from your face and let your shoulders come down. And then breathe in here for six breaths.
Good. Now release. Bring your arms up overhead. Take your right hand down your back and start to guide your torso so that your side body, you're getting a side lateral stretch. So moving your right elbow over to the left. Keep breathing into it. Two more breaths. Good, now you're gonna guide yourself back up and take your left hand and see if I'll bring it to your low back. Now you may find that you can slide your hand by your side body and be here, or you may find that you can bring your fingers towards each other or to touch. And then you're gonna be here for six breaths. Good, now release and draw your left arm across, letting your left shoulder relax down and breathing here for six breaths. Good, now release. Now it'll be the opposite. So bring the other arm underneath, bring the shoulders down, or again, of course, you can be in this position instead. I'm guiding the elbows up to the height of the shoulders, the shoulders down, and the wrists slightly away from the face. And when you come to your sixth breath, again, just bring your arms up. Left hand now is going to come down your back. And you're going to start to bring your left elbow over to the right. And breathing into, again, your side body. Watch that the left hip doesn't lift away from your seat. And now guide yourself back. Take your right hand, bring it either to your low back, or again, slide it by your side body so that your right elbow is by your side body. And the reason for this is you're going to be able to draw your hands a little closer towards each other. Now, if you find that they don't touch or there's considerable amount of distance between, try to avoid grasping for your hands. Instead, just slide the hand up to the back to the place that feels comfortable for you where you're getting the stretch into the shoulder, but there isn't a lot of rounding in the back. And breathing here for six breaths. When you come to your sixth exhale, again, release, cross your arm over, let your shoulder relax down, and breathing here. Good, now release your hands down. Take your left hand to the outside of your right knee and begin to rotate your torso. Now you can either be here in a gentle twist or you can take your hand behind your chair, bend your elbow and you'll find that this will intensify the twist and you'll feel a stretch into your low back. Good, now come back to center, same thing, either again here or taking your hand Rotating your torso. Good. 
Good, now come back again to center. Drop your chin towards your chest and bring your right ear towards your right shoulder. If you feel comfortable to take your hand to the side of your head, you're gonna to begin to guide your chin slightly upwards towards your ceiling. Let your left shoulder relax down and breathe here. Good. Now slowly release, bring your head back to a neutral position, bring your hand down, drop again your chin, left ear to left shoulder, taking your hand and keep the right shoulder down because as you bring the shoulder down and the chin up, you'll feel a deeper stretch. Good, now same again. Slowly bring your head back to a neutral position. Bring your gaze over your right shoulder, but without rotating your torso. So the tendency is gonna to be to want to rotate the torso as you bring your gaze. Try to keep your spine upright, your torso facing forward, and just turning your head. Good, now bring your head back again to a neutral position and then over in the other direction. And now bring again your head back to center. As we did at the very beginning, bring your shoulders up towards your ears, take a deep inhale through your nose and then exhale out your mouth. So you can come to the back of your chair And place your hands at the top of the chair and just walk your feet back. Now, as you walk your feet back, you're gonna draw back at your hip crease. So your hips are gonna be further away from your ankles. So rather than stacking them over top and just folding, try to draw your weight back. And then breathe in here for six breaths. Good. Now start to walk towards the back of your chair and you're going to come up onto your toes. Now, as you come up onto your toes, you can either hold here or you can come right back down. We're going to do eight of these. So if you hold, it'll be four, but if you are doing eight, then you're just going to come up and down. So it's either going to be again, coming up, holding and coming down or just simply going up and coming right down. If you'd like to challenge your balance as you're doing this, just remove your hands from the chair and you can place your hands either at your hips and hold and come down, or again, coming up and coming down. Now, once you come to either your fourth or your eighth, you're gonna take your hands again to your chair, walk your left foot back, and then just lift your right foot away from your floor. You can again begin to fold at the hip crease to increase the stretch for your calf. And then slowly guide yourself back up. And then we'll just do the same thing on the other side. So taking the opposite foot, again, you're just lifting your foot away from the floor and then folding at the hips.
Now you can just slowly again, bring yourself up. And now we're gonna bend the right knee and take the right hand to either the ankle or the top of the foot. Now from here, roll your right shoulder back. And as you're bringing your heel towards your buttock, try to draw your hips slightly forward so that your hip and your knee are in one line. Good, now slowly release and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So taking your hand to your foot. Now, if you find that your hand doesn't comfortably come to your foot, you can just think about here, having your foot draw away from the floor, bringing your knee and again, your hip into one line. And as you continue to bring your foot closer to, you'll feel the stretch for the quad. Otherwise, again, taking your hand to your foot and drawing your hips forward and breathing here. and then release. Now, once you release, take the top of your right foot and begin to guide the top of the foot down towards your floor. And again, breathing here for six breaths. And then the same thing, other side, taking the opposite, guiding the top of the foot towards the floor. You'll have feel a nice stretch for the top of your foot. Good, now release and bring your foot back down. Now again, we're gonna walk our feet back. This time though, you are going to have your hips and your ankles in one line and begin to fold. Now, as you're folding, start to ever so gently guide your ankles away from each other. So this is without actually moving the feet, just pulling the ankles away. And then you can bring your forearms onto your chair. Now, if you feel you could go a little further, then you can start to bring more of your torso towards the chair. This is a nice way to release tension in the low back. So breathing here. You'll of course also feel this in your hamstrings. And then when you come to your sixth breath, again, slowly guide yourself up and bring your feet wide. Now take your hands onto your hips and just make little circles here. And just as you did with your ankle rolls, you can go in one direction and then switch it up and go in the other direction. Good, and then come back to center. Now, once you come to center, draw your arms out in front of you. Take your thumbs, bring them in towards your palms, wrap your fingers around, and now you're gonna do wrist rolls. So going in one direction exactly as you did as well with your ankles, and then going in the other direction. And then the same thing, you can just switch it up again. And then going again in the other direction. Good, and then just press your palms forward. You're gonna bring your arms out to the side, push through the heels of your hands and let your shoulders relax down. Now you're gonna breathe here for six breaths. So stay drawn up through the crown of your head. Keep again pushing out through the heels of the hands and let your shoulders relax down.
Good. And now start to bring your arms a little further back. Breathing here. Again, just let the shoulders relax down. Just see if you can draw the arms still a little further, but without one arm dropping down, try to keep both arms parallel to the ground. And now draw your arms down towards your low back, roll your shoulders, reach your wrist down and start to draw your arms up away from your low back. And breathe in here again, six breaths. You're welcome to have a little bend in your knees if that makes you feel more comfortable. Good, now slowly release your arms down, bring your arms up, interlace your fingers, do bend your knees, round your back, press your palms forward, then press into your feet, lift your heart, reach back, draw your pelvis forward, and then come to a neutral position and bring your arms down. So I hope you have enjoyed this 30 minute sequence to allow your body to just loosen up a little bit, especially again, when we sit for long periods of time, the body can start to get tense and tight. So if you've enjoyed this practice, then be sure to hit the like button and of course, subscribe and use the bell notification so that you get the notifications of the new videos. Have a great day.